It was in 1973 when Dr. Richard Laval came across a large hollow log in the rainforest in Serapaki. Inside, he found the first known Costa Rican colony of the thumbless bat. He counted and measured some of the 59 bats. It would be another 45 years before the thumbless bat reappeared in Costa Rica. Once again, it was found in the Serapaki area, but this time underneath a cabin. This extremely small bat only weighs three grams and is very rare throughout its range, which extends south to Brazil. What is so strange about this species is that it barely has a thumb. Bats use their thumbs for many different things, like holding on, itching, and even walking. So why has it evolved into just a stub? Is it used for a special purpose? The maxim in evolution is use it or lose it. These tiny bats have small eyes and no leaf nose. They belong to a family with only two species. Notice, most of them hang by one foot, which lets them follow any threat all around them. Thumbless bats forage for small moths close to the ground. This would be a dinner menu for them. Moths react to high-pitched sounds by fleeing, as shown here by clanging keys. This bat has one of the highest frequency echolocation calls of any neotropical bat, but it is of such low intensity that electronic bat detectors hardly pick it up. It's also a boy, but it's not the same one because it doesn't have the balls like the ones before. Because it flies so low to the ground, mist nets often miss it too. Another strange character is that the females have their teats located next to their genitalia, whereas in all other bats, they are under the armpits. Thumbless bats are usually found in caves and hollow logs and in colonies of 100 to 150 individuals. Biologists comment that they seem to fly slowly and low like morpho butterflies. <laughs> 